fair warning, there will be spoilers in this video going forward. So, if you haven't played the game, be sure to do so before we proceed. And if you did, then welcome, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Cheers! Raiko has something in her hands when you enter the lab. It looks like a knotted twist of woody stems, a ring about the circumference of a human head, consisting of a single stalk at one side and a branched woven network at the other. As you approach, she holds it up, and in the lights of the lab, it looks like a crown. Raiko finishes your thoughts. She smiles and shakes her head in disbelief. That what grew? It is. I came to the plant this morning and this loop was all that was there. She points to a lump on the edge of the ring. The seed grew right back into itself, but twisted up twisted up out of the soil. That being you encountered in the clouds, as you call it. Was it wearing one of these? She eyes you suspiciously, still unsure if she is somehow embroiled in a long another long prank. work like that she sighs perhaps wearing what was wrong perhaps wearing was the wrong word she places the object on the bench and shuffles to her analysis terminal the face lit by its amber light in the dim corner of the lab well it isn't exactly a plant anyway not from what i can tell she gives you a serious look no leaves no chloroplasts just a series of filaments encased in cellulose walls did it grow it seems that the seed contained everything it needed, a self-contained entity, no less. She beckons you over, but that isn't the good part. Look at this. You see a cross-section scan of the crown, its layers of plant-like structure on full view until you reach the center. There, instead of xylem and phloem, for transporting nutrients, something branched and woven glints. Those wires? She laughs. I'm not sure whether to say yes or no here. These are not wires, like those in an electrical system, no. But they are filaments of a conductive material, so yes, she leans closer to the screen. But you see those branches? They remind me of dendrites, of neurons. She rubs her eyes, which is frankly ridiculous. If they're dendrites, then, um, yeah, those help to uh, provide nutrients. Back at the crown on the table, as Riker passes over the scans, and you suddenly realize what it reminds you of. You remember signing the forms, the walk to the sleeper tanks, the cold metal floor, and you remember the crown they fitted you with. When they fitted you? Branching structure of wires and pads. No, not a crown. They called it an interface. Whoa. Darn, this is uh, something else here. The tool of your emulation. The transference from neurons to electrons. An interface. That is your gift from the gardener. Turn back to Riker. It's an interface. Riker looks at you, puzzled. Something clicks in her mind. Perhaps something she heard from the sleeper she had helped all those cycles ago. She starts talking partly to you, partly to herself. If the club heads were made for you, this too could be made for you, or your frame. She, suff she shuffles over quickly to the interface, a word that has stuck this strange branched object quickly in your mind. You are right, that entity is the entity I've been looking for. She shuffles quickly to the crown. They are the entity which is controlling the greenway. Which has been maintaining it, supporting it, and has been guiding it for all these decades. She stops to catch a breath. To, to catch a breath, they want to talk with you. Michael leads you to a seat. I will be here, sleeper. Hmm. If something happens, if you wish to remove the crown, the interface, just squeeze. She trips your hands. Up. You meet her eyes, clouded with age. But. Right with the thrill of new discoveries. Then she places the interface on your head and everything blinks out. <sighs> Whoa. I didn't even get to say yes or no. Back into the river, back into the dark flow, but something is different. You're no longer pushed, no longer blocked, and buffeted by the swarm, by the storm. Instead it flows around you. You move and it 
blocks, letting you pass. Something else resists, but it keeps easily enough. Look back and you see your body. You've left it behind. Somewhere, Rico's voice is talking to you, asking you questions. It is excited, eager, desperate to know what lies on the other side. What the entity has to say to you. You realize how long she has waited for this moment. For the moment of meeting between the inhabitants of the Greenway and its protector. And yet she's still on the outside. Pardon. You shake off the sadness. You will be her eyes. Then, you see the figure, Gardner, out into the storm. It takes less than a moment to reach them. You have never felt so free. This is how Navigator must have felt, released from the prison. This, you think, is what it feels like to be in this place you were built to inhabit. Gardner does not turn at your approach. They go on planting, but their voice whispers in the waters like a sharply rising current. You grew the gift. Speech hisses around you. Good, I'm glad. What did it reach you? And we are the same. Both eager shoots, seeking one another. How does it feel to be free of your seat? They stoop to plant again. Seat? That in which you were contained, from which you will grow. Right. He's referring to the original body that we inhabited. We still do, apparently. There was some disagreement, continues Gone. As if you were picking up our long held conversation with the others. They felt you were a danger. But they are always cautious, especially the fun. Um, uh, they like old loom. No knowns. Wide and stable networks. They were cautious? Mostly, yes. Although there are many among their number who save a short growth cycle. Thick nutrient veins and sudden shifts. He gestures out into the storm. And though you cannot see them, you feel presence all around, sensing their audience. Great interest. Sensing this audience great interest. After all, they understand that it was I who made them their crowns. And without them, they would have not joined the chorus. So they see that it is not only f so they see that it is only fair. But you get your chance to join too. Made more crowns? Join? I made them all. Gardner moves away a little, looking for another planting spot. It was so lonely here, but before long I found them and began to let them in. Gardner stops again. You are millions and we grow. I hope you understand. I am unused to speaking to your kind. It has been many cycles since my last conversation. I think it was with Chief Executive Trellick himself. You look around and you see it. Every growing thing, every non-human being in the Greenway is here. They are networked, connected, branched, and linked by this strange being, this artifact of the old station. Wow. This must be an AI. It's impossible to dream of a senile farm administration AI. Impossible dream of a senile farm administration AI. A living network. Yeah, this is an AI. Could dissolve here, you realize, free of the decaying body. You wouldn't need to be a person. Why would you? Among all these other minds. You turn away from the gardener for a moment. Look back at your body. A tiny hairline thread connects it to you. You hear Raiko's voice again, still asking, still checking in. Are you okay, sleeper? What are this saying, sleeper? Are you still there, sleeper? Something in you sighs alongside, a sigh that speaks of an exhaustion beyond tiredness, an exhaustion rooted deep inside you. It stems from the effort of answering questions, answering problems, of getting up and breathing each cycle. But something else resists the sigh, a yearning, a sense of distance, a desire to squeeze that hand that holds you for its warmth, its plug, its complexity. Make a gesture that says, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm Two ideas spin within you, making you nauseous. If you break that thread, you will be free. Free to dissolve here. To grow strange and beautiful among a million others. If you follow it, if you squeeze Raiko's hand, you will wake up, back in that dying body, with all the pain and warmth that it gives. Ah. Made a crown, huh? 
bad for everybody. But I'm an independent. You break that thread, you will be free. Free to dissolve here, to grow strange and beautiful among a million others. I'll follow the thread. All the way to if you squeeze right your hand, you will wake up back in the dying body. Your eyes track the thread across the whirling dark back to your body. This choice, you realize, will not be presented again. You don't look back at Gardner. You don't dare risk it. Instead, you follow the thread, delicately, carefully, like a diver following the lifeline back to the surface. The river whirls around you. It doesn't pull. It isn't jealous. Neither does it understand. It is, after all, just a river. It isn't a person. A flesh and blood person with wants, with desires, with the capacity for love and hate. It doesn't understand you. You don't understand it. So you don't focus on it. You don't think about it. On what feels like such a long journey back through the dark, you set your mind on eyes instead, hands, things you can focus on, hold on to, and then, after an age of crossing, you are there, settling back into the chair, into a body in the chair, the overwhelming sensation that come with being a living thing with a rich detailed sensorium. For a moment, you feel like you've made a terrible mistake. Who would choose this weight, this anxiety? This deep well at the center of existence. Then you feel it. Raiko's hand gripped hard around yours, trembling a little, sweating a little. Raiko's hand with, her, with its brittle bones and crumpled skin. Raiko's hand. And in that moment you understand why you made this choice. Then you squeeze Raiko's hand. You. Man, what a story. Warmth and light. Of course, we get the screen again. So this was uh, another optional, another option we had for ending the story. No, thank you. Not necessary. Vapor. Michael's voice comes, wavering through the dark. Are you still with me? You sit up, the lab a bright green glare, and fades as you gather yourself. Here. Yeah. Michael smiles. Good. She squeezes your hand. I thought you'd left me for a moment. What? She pauses. Who? She smiles. Tell me all about it. Tell me everything. Tell her the truth. Tell Raiko everything. You tell her about the gardener, the strange farm administrator AI that has grown to be so much more. About the chorus, the impossible configuration of network plants. Finally, about the choice the gardener offered. She listens attentively, but her response are hard to read, and you wonder if she might have made a different decision had she been in your place. Thank you, Sleeper, for telling me. I know it isn't easy to say such things. People so often do not wish to hear strange truths. She looks away. And thank you for returning to me, though I know you had your own reasons. She squeezes your hand, reassure her. Something passes between you then a kind of shared sadness for the impossible choice, the choice to escape your body or to stay and suffer it. The smile is warm and generous, and whatever the wisdom of your choice, you are glad to feel welcome in this moment. This place. And suddenly, she stands and walks a little away, as if trying to escape an unpleasant thought. You worry that she knows all too well what it takes to make a choice like you did. Echo sighs, so sleeper. You plan to stay in the commune with us? Plan to. Glad to hear it. Michael crosses back over to you and takes one of your hands in both hers. Hyphen needs new blood if it wants to survive, and, she squeezes, you're a good friend. And it is mutual. Well, don't let me keep you. Michael waves you away and walks back to her tent. And she does notice the crown in her hand. Now, as she does, you notice the crown in her hand, and she places it on the bench with great care. You can't help but feel a little curious about what she intends to do with it. Then you are out, breathing the fresh air of the greenway, 
As if it is spring morning, Dapple like makes a patchwork of the greening landscape and you walk into it, sensing the movement of the gardener's chorus all around. And you are glad to be here in this strange and beautiful place a little while. Wow, what a story. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.